No first I couldn't get this, this was doing my nothing. Right, so I think what I done wrong was I done button ID equals click me, right? So you're using an ID like in CSS or hash for ID or C A what's that again? ID and tags, ID and Oh, CSS, I can't mind. ID and whatever the other one is, I can't mind. So basically, use ID and oh, class, class. That's it. Class and IDs, classes and IDs. You use them in JavaScript. So we're using them in JavaScript here because we're using an ID for click me, and then we're going to label it click me. So it's a button. We've labeled it click me. We're putting it within script tags. We're going to use JavaScript. So document dot get element by id so we're going html basically is the document so it's html which is document dot get element by id so we're getting it by id as, as in css you use id so it's id equals click me the id and it's id and if i've got it in between brackets click minus me but obviously it's called click we have dash me sorry and click dash me so whatever you call the ID, it's got to match with the ID you get element by ID. So basically it's like CSS with IDs and classes. We're just doing the same thing, but different. So dot on click, no space, but I think I, I think that's where I went wrong. Equals no space function. And I think I had too many spaces. I had too many spaces in here as well. And I think I had other spaces and I think that's what was wrong with it. It kept Obviously, using I'm using too many spaces, so make sure you keep everything together. Together, then it's alert. Hello there. We are opening, shut. Uh, opening and closing parentheses. Obviously, don't forget them. Don't forget the opening and closing brackets, and the alert. Hello there or alert whatever you want. So I'm going to try alert. My name. Oh. Ian McCauley Please read any comments below So I'm just trying to learn JavaScript for myself I've learned HTML, I've learned CSS And now I'm trying to jump into JavaScript now So bear with me if you want to learn And if anybody else wants to come along on the journey Then join me or leave a comment So if I click this I was going to say it's not going to work because obviously it's going to come up hello there because it's no obviously been updated so what we need to do is we need to run it first and then press click me and then it says my name is Ian McCauley please leave a comment below or comments below as I say I'm trying to learn JavaScript I've learned HTML to an extent I've learned CSS to an extent and I've learned I'm trying to learn JavaScript now and then I'll go back and do it again because I believe when you try and do this well, for me anyway, this is what worked for me if people are getting stuck. This is what worked for me when I went and done HTML and then I done a web, like a web page, my first web page. And then I kept like going over and over and over and over and repeating. It's just called repetition, basically. But if you keep repeating yourself and repeating yourself, it's like doing a hundred lines, say. Do it a hundred times if you want, or ten times. But then it will stick in your mind and then you'll know how to do it. Just like I was trying to... I've, I've, I've uploaded two or three videos today and I just couldn't figure out what was wrong. I was like, I was, I was doing my nothing basically. But I eventually worked it out. So, as I say, the, the spaces was the, my problem. So, if, as I say, if anybody wants to come in the journey, just leave a comment and I'll try and help everybody I can. So, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and we'll see where we go for there. Okay, thanks for watching my latest video. Bye now.